What's up everyone, TheFindNewYork.com here with a brand new video. Today we're going to take a quick look at the white and black uh, Reebok Big Hurt Retro. Now, there's a lot of problems going on with this shoe. Um, Frank Thomas, most of you know, uh, filed a lawsuit against Reebok saying that they released this shoe uh, with his nickname on it and his logo without his permission. And, you know, a lot of people were shocked. One person said they thought it was for a publicity stunt. It's definitely not a publicity stunt. Um, and so far, the, the release has been really up in limbo. I mean, Europe got these, and as well as uh, Japan and Canada. But the United States has seen like scattered places that have them. And who knows if they got them from overseas or whatnot. But um, there's been some stores, I've spoken to some people that said they've been in limbo. You know, they, pl they placed orders back uh, in 2013 and haven't heard anything from Reebok. So, and then on the flip side to that, Finish Line uh, announced that they're going to be releasing on May 2nd the black and blue version. I mean, go figure. It's, it's a very, very weird release. Um, you guys can see the, the Big Hurt logo there. And it's just a dope shoe, you know, Frank Thomas, one of my favorite all-time baseball players. And it, a funny story, I actually had this uh, this Top Stadium Club, Frank Thomas, 92 Top Stadium Club. And I, we were on a trip, and I had a whole stack of cards, and I put his card in the middle of the whole stack just so that it wouldn't get ruined. And what do you think? That's the only card that got bent up and ruined. I don't even know how, but... Uh, Anyway, yeah, Frank Thomas is definitely one of my all-time favorite players. And Reebok did a really good job on these. They're really, really comfortable. They actually run, I think you could probably get away with true to size, but I recommend going um, whatever you would wear in an Air Max 90, go with those. Uh, th I picked these up in a size 12. They fit a little roomy, but I know if I went down to 11 and a half, they'd be too tight. So I just stuck with the 12. I also have the black colorway. I'll show you that guy in another video. And um, prices are going for probably like $150 to $200. Um, sneakers and stuff sold out. They were the best price so far. You know, if they release, they may get discounted. Who knows? But it was a good price. It was like $95. And uh, plus like $10 a ship. But yeah, definitely a dope shoe. As far as Reebok, they, Reebok's been involved in like some really bad stuff over the past year and a year and a half. Um, I'll post a link, you can read an article where there were individuals within the company that were being accused of fraud. And, uh, you know, Adidas was having some problems with Reebok as well. So this is just another thing to add. But Reebok, Reebok does really, really well on the retros, like really good on the retro quality and paying attention to details. So I got to give them that. But uh, it's a shame that uh, this had to go down with uh, Frank Thomas. Anyhow. Next part of the video, I'm gonna show you guys what they look like on your feet with shorts and with jeans. All right, everyone, that's the video. Got to see what they look like on your feet with shorts, with jeans. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, please feel free to drop me a line. If you want to know you should cop these or not, in my opinion, I think you should. Uh, otherwise, I mean, you could try to wait it out. They may come out and be GR and deeply discounted and everybody will be happy. But then again, they might not. So if you really, really love the shoe, definitely pick them up. Try to get them around $100, $105. Um, $150 is a little 
a little much in my opinion but um you know it's better to be safe than sorry if you really 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 love the shoe otherwise just uh hold off a little bit and see how this uh lawsuit plays out anyhow stay tuned for more videos